and welcome Hilary. Obviously, we've known you for years as a patient here at the White House, but it's only recently that we've become aware of your interest and involvement in local theatre. Um, but oh, please tell us a little bit about it. How did you get into it? Well, I suppose I can say that I've been interested in theatre all my life. I can remember as a child organising groups of friends and to, into play and be, putting them into plays that I've written. Mm -hmm. uh, me always taking the best part, of course, when I was a child. And throughout my adult life, I've always been involved. Um, in earlier years, I did a lot of acting. Now I do more directing and acting, but having said that, I was in a play last year, and which I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh. Good night, Mr. Tom. So did you act in it? And if you did, what part did you play? I, I played the part of the good doctor. I also played the car, part of a cockney woman um, who, who, who Mr. Tom meets in an air raid shelter. And she was a delightful character. You meet her and she says, I've just been caught short on the lav. There I was, sitting there, siren goes, never pulled me knickers up quicker. And, and so she goes on. I must tell you a funny story about that, though. Um, I was doing that and I, and I had to sing as well. I had to sing There Be Bluebirds Over the White Cliffs of Dover because that was what they used to do in their raid shelters. And I was halfway through when suddenly the fire alarm went off and of course the crew had been over enthusiastic with the smoke machine and it had set the fire alarms off. The audience didn't seem to mind. They thought it was, you know, sir sirens going off anyway. So I just carried on. <laughs> and I gather you write your own productions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I. I do enjoy it. Um, I suppose the the plays that I've done latterly with Tilborn have been Question of Attribution, that's Helen Bennett, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I like Bennett's writing and also um, the content of the play really intrigued me. It's all, all about the Cambridge Spies oh, yes. and Anthony Blunt. Mm -hmm. And that was a lovely play to do. Um, I've done um, Witness for the Prosecution, oh, yes. which is an Agatha Christie play. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably her best play. And we had a tremendous cast for that. And that went down very well with audiences, and I loved it. I really, really loved that. Um, there are others I've done, but those are the ones I particularly enjoyed. I've always wanted to direct an inspector calls. Uh, that's by Priestley, um, because I love the play so much. Intriguing play. Um, but the National Theatre bought the rights to it, so they won't let anyone else perform it. Now, I don't blame them because it's on every GCSE syllabus in the country, I think. So you can't blame them for that. Um, but this time I thought, well, I must do another priestly play. It's about time we did one. So I'm doing When We Are Married. And I don't know whether you know it, but it's a very, very funny play. There are three couples and they are celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary. They are all fine, upstanding members of the community. And then suddenly someone appears, their um, organist from chapel, they were going to give a good talking to. And he says, well, actually, I met this um, priest while I was on holiday. We are not interested in knowing where you went on holiday, I don't know who you met. Um, and that he says, wait a minute, wait a minute. But he says, 
25 years ago, when he was in Cleckley White, he uh, married three young couples on the same day. But he's ashamed to say that he wasn't authorised to do so. But he didn't realise. And then, of course, the balloons go goes up because they realise that they haven't been married all oh, these yeah. years. And these are very respectable people who've done well. Um, so, if you want to see what happens, do come along. <laughs> it is, and we've got we've we've got really good actors. So tell it's me. going to be tremendous. We, we haven't started rehearsing as yet, but tickets are already selling. Oh, it sounds. Tell me about the audition process. Was it difficult to find the actors that you needed? Well, I I just advertised it, okay. and it is so popular. Really? I haven't really had any problem in getting the cast filled. Where do you advertise for your actors? Um, well, in um, our, our, our newsletter, which I write for the Society, so I sent round to all our members. And all our members are members of, of the other societies in the area. Yeah. And I have, have got the cream of the actors in this play. Oh, oh well, that's fabulous. Yes. It's, it's going to be good. How long does it take to prepare for a production like this? Well, I suppose I've been thinking about it on and off for a few months. Um, throughout August, I've been doing some planning of the moves. And what I do is have the script to draw out the set on rough paper and I use chess pieces and I move them around and I go through an act I then write it in my book where I want them to be however much however however long I spend pushing chess pieces around the board it is always different when they get on the stage always but it's good to have some idea have you ever put on a production that you've written yourself oh yes yeah, I put on a production of a play which I called Gordian Lot, not the Gordian, not Gordian Lot, and um, set on a yacht in the Greek islands. And um, I must admit that all the characters in that play of people I've known or people I've met. We went on um, a, a small cruise ourselves. It was a tall ship and there were a lot of different people on it. And some of those appear in the play. There was a very snobby lady, Lady Ruth, and her husband, who was nicer, but oh gosh, she was dreadful. So. What a character for a play. Mm. Um, others are people I've met, colleagues, but um, I've I've always liked murder mysteries, yeah. um, and I thought, well, you know, quite interesting to do this. Do you think if they watch the play, they recognise themselves? Not really, no. no. So when you write your play, do you write it back to front? Do you know who committed the crime? before you write your production? Um, I think it, it sort of comes to you. Um, I think I did, when I wrote that, I did, I did know who did it. Yes, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so, what is your production called? When is it on and where can we buy tickets? It's called When We Are Married by J.B. Priestley. It's on at um, Tilford, at the Tilford Institute, from the 14th to the 16th of November at 7.30 and with a matinee at 2 o'clock on Saturday the 16th. Dr Hilary Lee Corbyn, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.